Hi guys, what's up? This is Norwegian Black Cult, and as promised, uh, we're having a end of the year uh, haul, a massive one this time. Uh, there's gonna be tapes, CDs, and uh, two vinyl as well. So it's the end of the year. It's going to be a big one. Uh, enjoy. So let's start uh, as usual. So we're drinking this one today. Uh, it's called uh, Pichela. It's one of the most uh, well-known uh, microbrewers in Estonia. Craft beer, alcoholic this time. As you can see, the description says powerful IPA with citrus kick. So it's one of the best beers around here. Uh, I really like IPA, so this is my choice from uh, local beers. Uh, there are two more brewers here, uh, Puchaste and Tanker, who also produce uh, very quality beers. So we're gonna look into those next time. Uh, as you can see, the Pichel always has this cosmic kind of vibe going on in the on the covers. So yeah, uh, we have the special glass as well. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's also Pichel glass. Yeah. So let's get this one open. Uh, I know a lot of you actually have tried Pichel in. Uh, I heard in. Great Britain, a lot of people tried it in uh, USA, some people wrote to me that they also tried it and they like it. So yeah, it's a pretty well-known uh, beer and one of the best uh, in Estonia that goes for export. So yeah, it's this one, the green one, Pichela. Yeah. So, now you probably can see the glass, of course now it's... Uh, Visible at least, yeah. So this is the glass. So cheers and let's roll. Ah, great IPA, just fantastic. One of my favorites. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start with this too. Uh, yeah. So first of all, we're starting with this one. This is the same band. Okay, let's get this open and let's talk about this. So this is uh, a Greek band, the name I can't pronounce, uh, I mean I can't uh, read it, but uh, on uh, Metal Archives it says that the name is Mniema. Uh, so uh, Greek band, uh, as I understood they are established at uh, around uh, 2016. Possibly there are two members in this uh, band, in this project. And what we're looking uh, at here is uh, called uh, Interment. It's a 2019 EP released by Death Cult Productions. Uh, as you can see, limited to 100 copies. Let's take a look at the tape. So what is interested, interesting about this band in particular, or I should rather say this project in particular, is that they play a very harsh mix of uh, black metal and uh, noise, surprisingly. I don't really listen to noise that much, but uh, this one I got hooked on. The black metal parts are absolutely fantastic, uh, so this is their 2020 re release, this is a demo, uh, it's called uh, Possessed Templars. Uh, as you can see, these are the, the individuals behind the project, like I said, the project is from Greece. So, very interesting combination of har harsh noise, uh, very rough noise, and uh, raw black metal. It basically sounds very desperate, sometimes... Uh, there's a lot of emptiness in the sound. Uh, I would say it even feels necromantic. Uh, perfect for uh, winter. I like the black pet black metal parts more than the noise parts, but uh, overall, it's a great project. Yeah. So uh, if you ever come onto these tapes, I would recommend you to pick them up. It's not for everybody. Basically, what it what it sounds like is uh, let me do it like this. What it sounds like is uh, sorry for the glare. It sounds like uh, torture and pain all the way through. Absolutely hellish sound. 
like pure total devastation, I would say. So yeah, uh, again, this is the Mniema, which translates, by the way, from Greek to English as a tomb. And these are two albums, so one is a P, one is a demo, released by Death Cult Productions, limited to 100 copies. Uh, if you're into noise and mixture of black metal, get those albums, uh, you will not be disappointed. Absolute total hell. Alright, let's uh, move on, because the video is gonna be long, I'm not gonna, you know, stay on every release for a long time, because then I'll be talking for an hour. Okay, next one. So next one is this one. This is a Niederness, uh, Darkness uh, Synopath. Synotap, yeah, Darkness Synotap. Uh, this is a Portuguese band established uh, in uh, 2017. Uh, unknown amount of members, I would guess it's one guy, this one. Uh, what? Uh, so this is a 2020 release. Uh, this is a full length release. It doesn't consider it to be a demo or uh, any EP. And uh, interestingly enough about what I can say about this one is that the drums here on this release, uh, they take the central part. Uh, you can like, the feeling of the drums is uh, absolutely there, you can uh, hear them very loud, they're like the central part of the release. Uh, what else? Uh, the vocals are screaming. It's fast-paced, uh, riffy, yet it's lo-fi and uh, raw. Uh, Portuguese scene uh, usually never disappoints. Uh, usually every band from uh, Portugal, if you're into raw black metal or lo-fi lo black metal, they usually deliver this uh, kind of sound. Uh, like I said, never disappoints. Uh, this one also mixes it up a little bit. Uh, the last track is a complete ambient uh, passage, uh, complete ambient track. Overall, a very good solid release from this uh, new band, since it's a new band with only one full length. Um, they, on they also had a demo in 2018. Also released on uh, Death Cult Productions. Uh, and also limited to 100 copies and also sold out. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you're into Portugal scene uh, in general or uh, in a uh, roll of five black metal uh, that is also fast paced, I would highly recommend you to look into this one. So this is Niederness, uh, Darkness Cenotaph. All right, let's make a pause. So, like I said, we're drinking Pukila. Estonian craft beer, one of the best around here. Uh, cheers. Ah, amazing. Okay, let's storm uh, to the next uh, tape. So the next tape is this one. And this band has been uh, on everybody's lips so far. Uh, this is uh, Panzer War from Norway. Norway slash Canada. As I understand, the guy behind the project moved to Canada from Norway. One man band. Uh, one man band. Uh, uh, the person behind the project goes by Gautas. Uh, basically, the main concept of the uh, Panzer War is uh, anti Christianity and paganism. As you can see, also released by Death Cult Productions. Here is the individual behind the band. Uh, very old school photos. Uh, uh, interestingly enough, the band is a very. Uh, the project is very uh, young. Uh, the first uh, demos and tracks of the project were released in 2019, but let's look at the tape. So it's just a nice pro tape, but. Uh, from 2019 to 2020, the project has been uh, very efficient in releasing uh, m new material. Three EPs, four splits, uh, two full lengths, and one demo. 
So this is a 2020 release. Uh, it's called uh, Ephemer Ephemeral uh, Existence. Uh, like I said, uh, released on Death Cult and uh, limited to a hundred copies. As I believe, it's also sold out. Uh, this is interesting. It goes from mid tempo uh, to fast, furious uh, temp, uh, where it just blasts so off uh, like off the rails uh. and uh, the first track uh, it kind of gives you this illusion this uh, that there is something a bit uh, maybe depressive suicidal in the vocals because the melody itself is like you know long uh, a bit stretched out the vocals are also stretched out and uh, then bam the next track starts and basically it uh, just jumps to a full throttle and never stops. Uh, again, uh, this is also, I can say, spiced up by a. Tr there is a track basically here called uh, Northern Realm. And uh, the track is very interesting because uh, it's a. Uh, not ambient, but it's a. Uh, this time it's a dungeon synth uh, track. And it feels like a very epic uh, battle themed. Uh, Dungeon synth, so it's a very interesting uh, project in general. Pan uh, Panzer War. Uh, there are, there were a released also on um, Cold Sore, uh Productions. Uh, on it got also sold out. So it's uh, people really enjoy this one, and I also really enjoy this one. Uh, if you don't know uh, or never heard about this project, uh, I would highly recommend you check it out. Basically, it's a pure old-school uh, black metal, sometimes mixed with uh, one or two tracks of uh, excellent dungeon synth. So yeah, this is uh, Panzer War, uh, Ephemeral Existence, and this is uh, considered to be a demo, 2020 release. Alright, uh, the next one. So, the next one is this one. Let's take it out. Uh, this is uh, Vorstreos. Uh, now the name of the album is uh, very hard. Uh, I'll try to pronounce it. The uh, Virnitting van Irminsu. Uh, so this release is by Knekerput uh, Productions, uh, limited to 30 copies. This is number 22. A very simple layout. Uh, so, Warstraus is a young band, a one-man project from uh, Netherlands. Uh, mm, I think the guy behind the project goes by the name of uh, Lars Martin. At least the uh, Metal Archive say so. Uh, this is considered to be a 2020 EP, not the full length. Um, harsh vocals uh, mm, feels a bit epic. Uh, the music is epic, uh, even though it is a uh, raw black metal, very cold, very grim, but there is a slight bit uh, not only of epicness in, in it, but also atmosphere, I would say. Uh, the guy uh, who does this project, I believe he's uh, quite young, if I'm not mistaken. I've seen his profile on uh, Instagram. Uh, for a first release, this is uh, absolutely solid stuff. Amazing. I really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, it's also sold out, unfortunately, but you can get it digitally. Now, speaking about the uh, Knekkelput in general, let's look at the tape. You know, the tapes never disappoint from Knekkelput. Uh, look at that one. It's completely amazing. Uh, this is all uh, not printed, but, I don't know, painted, printed. It's not a sticker. Absolutely gorgeous tapes. Not only do they produce uh, top music uh, on that label, but uh, absolutely gorgeous tapes. Amazing stuff. So yeah, this is a uh, Wars Trails. Uh, again, uh, if you haven't listened to this one, pick it up. It's uh, brilliant stuff. Uh, I hope to hear more from the guy behind the project in the future. Because... Uh, if this is an EP, I am wondering what the full length will be like. Well, it has to be absolutely amazing as well. Yeah, check this out. 
All right. Let's have a sip of this one. Cheers, guys. Okay. Let's uh, move uh, forward then. So next up we have a uh, another Knekel put uh, release. It's this one. Let's get it out so we won't have the glare. So this is glass coffin, uh, bound to the demon's abyss. A project from USA, established uh, around 2009. Uh, the project has a huge discography, absolutely huge discography. One man band. The guy behind the project goes by JL. Uh, Bound by Demons is a 2020 EP. And it's uh, also a very interesting one. It starts off with the intro. It's like bells, so creepy sounds, voices. It feels like you are maybe in a haunted church. You know, you can hear the echoes and stuff like this. And then uh, again, bam. We go into full throttle uh, raw black metal. Complete madness. The vocals... Uh, like uh, differ from uh, classic black metal to vocals with uh, elements of uh, bestial black metal. The atmosphere itself is a dungeon-like atmosphere. Uh, again, very beautiful tape. Uh, and the outro, after all this, after all the tracks of this complete fucking madness, the outro is... Uh, it's like, it's very melodic just like very very melodic and it feels like uh, it's meant to be that it's like to show you that you have just survived a complete nightmare and you're like now feeling a relief after you have listened to it like you survived this so yeah this is a very interesting project uh, glass coffin uh, bound to the demon's abyss uh, Knekel put productions uh, limited by the way to 50 copies this is number 11 some raw furious uh, hateful uh, black metal from USA check it out alright so now we're moving into CDs I believe and we're gonna do some controversial CD first, controversial band first. Here we go. Uh, actually, let me also remove this one because the glare is just unbelievable. Sorry about the glare, it's because we are hitting the winters. It's already um, dark outside, even though I'm filming at uh, three in uh, three o'clock. Uh, so it's already a bit dark in the Baltics, uh, so I had to put on the light and there's a glare because the lamp is there. So yeah, we're moving to controversial parts. This is Wotana uh, Commando. Uh, so Wotana, uh, the name is uh, Vietnamese, translates to Atheist. Uh, the lyrics are in uh, Vietnamese. This is the guy behind the project, uh, ran by, the, he goes by Lord Wolfan uh, Nebula. As you can see, I believe it's a Celtic cross here. So the band is uh, a bit controversial, established in uh, 2013. Uh, even though ro it's uh, ran by one guy, it has uh, live members. As you can, you can read it if you want to, it's uh, basically about modern day black metal and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so it has live members, undisclosed live members. Uh, this is of course because uh, of the political views of the band. Uh, I don't know, may many people consider them to be an SBM, but it, in general it's uh, anti-religion. I, I don't know, the connection between, uh, even though they sing in Vietnamese and um, the lyrics are in Vietnamese uh, and everything is connected to like one way or another to Vietnam War. Uh, I don't know the connection because uh, the band, uh, the member is located in USA. So uh, I don't know his uh, ethnicity. I'm guessing he has to be some way or another connected with uh, Vietnam, of course. 
so it's anti-communistic, uh, anti-religion, some topics about national socialism, the band has a huge discography, uh, yeah, uh, this release itself is uh, an independent release, so it's not by a label, there's no uh, labels here. Uh, put out by the band itself, as you can see also the back, the back has translation uh, of songs into English, so yeah, neat stuff. Uh, not for everybody though, and not because of the political views of the band, uh, but uh, because this album is, uh, for example, 77 minutes long, it's huge album, it's raw, uh, noisy, there's a, it, basically there's a lot of distortion going on there. Primitive, uh, it's very monotonous. If you like monotonous stuff, uh, Wothana probably is for you, or at least this uh, release is for you. Uh, since it's uh, monotonous, it has to play on the hypnotic part, you know, like uh, Burzum. Of course, this doesn't reach the melodic part of the Burzum, it's a uh, roarer, but it is. Uh, it feels very hypnotic. Uh, there are some interesting passages in this release. Uh, I'm not sure if they are post-communistic or they are anti-communistic or uh, they are communistic itself, but basically there are uh, passages where the band takes a song, you know, like a propaganda song, like for example, like uh, Kim's Korea would have, yeah? All this chants and all this, uh, basically a 60s, 50s uh, propaganda song and puts it in before the actual black metal track uh, hits in. There are a few of those there. It feels uh, it gives this album some spice and some uh, unusual. Like uh, this is very unusual for this kind of uh, album. In general, it feels a bit epic, uh, but it's a great album. It's a great release. Uh, but like I said again, uh, it, it will be not for uh, all people, considering the views of the band and considering how long and how monotonous this album is. So this is Commando, uh, this is Botana, and the album is called Commando. Uh, great stuff. Uh, I know that the CD is still available on uh, Werewolf Records, I think, yeah. The, the LP was released by Darker Than Black, I think, yeah, and it's sold out. There were two represses and completely gone, so yeah. So check out Botana, unusual band. Okay, cheers, guys. Okay, we're moving into another CD. This is Bloodpest, uh, Ashen Sovereignty. So Bloodpest uh, was a band from uh, Sweden. This is a 2018 EP. Uh, I think he did like two. There's it's a one-man project again. The guy did uh, two releases under the Bloodpest name, and then he changed it to another name. Did a couple of releases there, and now he's completely gone. Like I don't think he does black metal, or maybe he does, but uh, I'm not aware of any project. So the guy was going on by going by the name Foul, and yeah, uh, like I said, currently I think he's not active. There he is. By this kind of picture, you can understand that it's a total black metal cult worshipping going on there. Uh, this is a CD. Uh, what makes it uh, very interesting that this is uh, one of those uh, obscure uh, death cult production CDs that, uh, you know, are, uh, are a myth, are a legend. Some people know about them, others are not limited to 50 copies. And numbered, mine is number 16. Uh, so... Uh, it's 25 minutes long. It's very primitive. Mm, very Swedish, like I said. The guy is from Swedish, Sweden. Um, there are mellow acoustic guitar parts, like when music completely slowed down and just guitar kicks in and it's an acoustic guitar. Feels a bit, again, depressive, maybe suicidal. Uh, but the production on this uh, thing is like... It's so crisp and so clean. It's not... Uh, 
completely raw. It's just like I, w I was surprised uh, and amazed that one guy can like record like that. Uh, it's 25 minutes long. Like I said, it's very primitive. There's a, I wouldn't. It's not bad. It's not uh, excellent. It's like, and it's not average. It's good. And what makes it good is it that it runs for 25 minutes only. So it's just enough, uh, you know. If he would have uh, included more of it, it would have probably gotten boring. But uh, 25, 24 minutes, you can put it on and just like enjoy it. Quite, quite fast paced, so pretty good stuff. So yeah, this is Blood Pest, Ashen Sovereignty, released by Death Cult, one of the, I'm guessing one of the first releases by Death Cult. Mythical CD, limited to 50 copies, yeah, check it out. Swedish uh, black metal. Alright, so now we're going into the vinyl, so let's take a look at this one. Already showed on my channel the tape version, now we got the vinyl. So this is the Pessimist Chamber, what Sally saw. Uh, Pessimist Chamber is a project from... Uh, Norway and Wales, so it's an international project. Uh, as you can see, it is released by uh, Namazo Productions, hand numbered. This is number 45 out of 100. So, this is a limited edition. Uh, yeah, so it's a dark synth ambient project uh, that basically is playing on the theme of uh, 80s horror movies. So comes on the black, I'm not gonna pull it out. Let's look at the center labels. So it's, uh, it's dark synth, dark ambient. Uh, mm, basically what you get here is like, you emerge into the atmosphere of all the classic horror movies. Uh, you feel the suspense. Uh, some people called it like a, some people say John uh, Carpenter would be proud of this, uh, and he definitely would. Uh, this is a psychological horror, uh, dreadful atmosphere. It creates absolute dreadful atmosphere. As you can see by the even cover, like, you know, a haunted house, uh, ghosts, uh, uh, also a bit mysterious. Uh, mm, it plays on, uh, yeah, like I said, it plays on the suspense more. Not the jump scares, not the like boom sounds or anything like that it basically guides you like through the dark uh, corridors of this house until you reach the end and uh, then uh, you know it's the end of your life comes with a sleeve inner sleeve yeah twins here more obscure pictures haunting uh, sounds haunting imagery uh, yeah one of the best uh, releases this year from uh, this gender and uh, surprisingly it's still uh, the vinyl is still available on uh, Namazu Productions so go check it out if you haven't this is some amazing stuff the pessimist chamber what Sally saw all right and we have one last vinyl. It's this one. Boom. Let's take it out. Out of the sleeve. Here we go. So this is a Nim Nimbifer or Nimbifer. I'm not sure about the pronunciation. If this is Latin, it means stormy uh, or like storm-like. But again, I, I'm not sure about the pr pronunciation. So this is the compilation of two demos. Uh, basically, it, 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 it is even called uh, Demo 1, Demo 2. Uh, so it's a two-man band from uh, Germany. Originally, this was released on uh, Vendetta Records, uh, limited to 300 copies. Uh, the first press got sold out, so this is the second press, the one that we're looking at. It's also sold out, so I'm assuming it was also limited to 300 copies. Uh, black inside, as you can see. Uh, so this is one of the top releases this year. 
even though the demos are from uh, past years, but the release itself is from this year, combines two first demos. Uh, uh, again, uh, I think the information about when the band that was established is uh, not known. I'm guessing 2017-2016 since it's a new band. Uh, Black Vinyl, so let's take a look into the center labels. Um, mm, howling, uh, screaming vocals again. The, and this is a pure fucking gem of uh, old school 90s black metal. This is like pure 90s uh, worship. And it's done on such a high level, it's, uh, it's very surprising and absolutely amazing. Like... Uh, when somebody says, oh, uh, there's, uh, I don't know, 90s uh, death metal worship uh, in a bad way. This is uh, in absolutely amazing good way I say these things. Uh, this one comes with this uh, insert. As you can see, as you can see the whole uh, package, the whole uh, cover, side labels, inner sleeve and uh, this stuff. It has this medieval vibe. And the music itself is also raw, but yet there's a lot of melody into this music. There's a lot of melody. And it feels like, yeah, it's like medieval battles going on. Galloping griefs. Uh, grim, cold uh, atmosphere in general. And uh, it's just one of the top notch releases from this year. If you're into, and I know you are, as I am as well, into old school black metal Nim Fiber or Nim Fiber is a band to look into and to keep your eyes on absolutely brilliant band I can't wait for them to finally put on the uh, full length album so yeah even look at the art man it's just fantastic really a big fan of such uh, medieval art so yeah Vendetta Records uh, New fiber demo one demo two check it out yeah and this concludes our massive haul at end of the year haul so what's next next is a bit of a plan to take a small vacation till January in January come back with more stuff and more beers and we'll look into more music and more craft beers so before i go i wish you happy new year stay safe enjoy your music uh, buy more black metal in general stay black metal and uh, stay frosty in good health yeah have a good uh, new year christmas whatever the fuck you celebrate cheers guys Stay black metal. Bye.